we are here for the world premiere of the new DB43 outboard. This is the beginning of a new range of premium day boats for Geno power boats. Come on board with me and I'll show you a few features of this new exciting model. Jano is bringing his own vision of day boating with this new DB43. You can see the very modern and sporty lines by our Italian historical designer, Camilo Garoni. The hull was designed by Michael Peters from Sarasota, Florida. You've got plenty of power with the triple 350 Mercury outboard engines here in the back. Cruise comfortably anywhere from 26 to 30 knots and you can also reach a top speed of 40 knots. That's 46 miles per hour. Plenty of performance when you need it. To get on board the boat, you've got, I'm sitting here on these very wide and spacious swim platforms that are wrapped around the engines and there is enough space here in the back to walk across. It's a 43 foot boat. It's a 12 foot beam, but when you open those massive electric terrace on each side, you have 18 foot of entertainment here in the back to enjoy sandbar or your time on the ocean. Those platforms are not only fantastic, you know, when you are anchoring or when you are, you know, at the sandbar, but also you can launch your paddle, you can launch your sea bob, you know, it, and there is also a safety line that comes here if you have your kids on the boat and you want a more safety environment. So you can jump from the swim platform, multiple swim ladders to go back to the boat, one on port side inside the swim platform and one on each side on the electric side terrace. So like I said at the beginning, this is a day boat. You have plenty of areas here on the boat to entertain your guests and have fun on the boat. It's very easy to move around, very easy access down to the cabin, to the bow, to the back of the boat. I'm showing you the boat with one of the three configurations that are possible on this boat. So the table you can see here has opening wings, so you can convert this into a big table with three to, uh, with six to eight guests around the table. You always protect it under the sunroof. You have the electric sure shade here on the back to give you extra shade. So that was the first configuration. When you're done with your lunch, you can flip this backrest forward and you convert this area into a huge sun pad. And again, very nice area to enjoy your time at the sandbar. But this is not only a very nice sun pad. Under this cushion, you have a wet storage. So you can store some gears or you could even imagine uh, throwing some ice and having your cold drinks kept here in the back. Next to your shore power connection, you can open this hatch and you get access to a massive storage here in the back to store your gear, your safety equipment, your CBOB, anything you want here in the back. Very convenient. A few more technical details. Auto automatic retractable shore power connection here. You've got uh, an outboard flushing system. Very easy to uh, flush your outboards, engines. You have a raw water wash down and a dock water inlet here and you of course and of course you have your shower with uh, hot and cold water this does two things first thing it does is once you flip up this backrest and move the seat you have a second row of seating for long cruising say you want to go to the bahamas you have three seats here in the back and three seats here for your guests or your family the other nice feature of this uh, configuration is that it frees up some space here all around the summer kitchen. And this is a great place to have a drink with, again, six, eight, 10 people here under the sunroof having a drink. Hidden here inside the hardtop, you've got a 43 inch drop down TV. Perfect place to watch the game at the end of a long day on the water. One of my favorite area here in the boat, the summer kitchen. But well, first of all, we have a very wide countertop, very easy to prepare your food, your drinks. Your guests are right behind you or around the island. You've got a full kitchen. So here in this configuration, we have two burner uh, electric cooktop and we have a grill next to it. If you were very serious about barbecue, you can do two grills here. Of course, you have cup holders. Here next to your grill, you have a sink with hot and cold water. 
Yes, we have dedicated storage down below for these two parts. Let me show you one little details that I like particularly. Those pop-up lights here on each side. Yes, they look really cool, but they are also very functional at night. Down below, we've got an ice maker, several drawers here for storage. I have my push button here for the lights. We've got trash. And finally, a fridge. This is the second fridge on the boat. We have another one down below. If you didn't want an ice maker, you could do another fridge here on the other side. You can feel it here on the camera, but I'm standing here because it's convenient, but also because I have a very big air conditioning unit blowing cold air here in my back. It keeps the whole cockpit very cool, very nice to enjoy the day on the water on those very hot days here in Florida. So there is plenty of storage throughout the boat. I mentioned the massive storage in the back under the sun pad, but we also have here under each seat. And we have also another little storage under this, the co-pilot seat. Let's move to the helm. Another very nice area of the boat, of course. Three seats here for you and your family or your guests. Very wide glass windscreen here on the front. Very nice visibility here on the side. We have a side door here which is very convenient to access the boat. And also you have very easy access to your cleats, one here, and very easy access to the bow uh, on the side decks for easy docking. Here at the helm, you can stand just like I'm, like I'm now, or you can sit. You also have another position with those flip down uh, footrest. And here you also have another footrest when you are sitting at the, at the helm. This is a multifunction steering wheel. You can manage your sound system from here. You can uh, activate the horn, your lights, your wipers. Again, a very nice feature here at the helm. Feels like you're driving your sports car. You've got the swivel here on the side. Joystick here for easy docking. Skyhook for your virtual anchor. On top of your joystick, you also have a bow thruster. You have some very nice switches navigation equipment on board. Also, you have some very nice air conditioning vents. One of the best locations to be in the boat when it's really hot is for sure at the helm. You also have tweeters for the sound system. I have my switch for the electric shear shade here in the back, glove box, and you also have a very big one on the other side. New on Jano Power Boats, as you can see on this DB43, the first model of the DB Yachts line, we are raising the bar. The boat is equipped with this digital system, so it's a very easy way to manage all your equipments on board. You can manage your lights. So here, for example, when I leave the boat, just press this button and it just kills the light here in the uh, external cockpit. Turn the light back on. What it does also is all the lights are dimmable, so you can adjust the intensity of the lights. When I move, you also have control of your air conditioning system here outside or down below in the cabins. Some more the compass, more technical information. Here you can manage all your sound system on the boat, whether you're listening to music via Bluetooth, your USB uh, ports, uh, the radio. You can see your batteries for the bass roster, for the lights, for the generator, the engines, your water and fuel level, and you can easily switch also from your short power connection, as you can see here, I'm on short power. If you wanted to switch to power on board by the, via the generator, you just switch here uh, via this system. Very easy, very convenient. You have an electric opening sunroof here at the helm. Very nice to bring in some more lights in the cockpit and also natural ventilation. You've got these very uh, wide uh, side decks here on each side of the boat to access the front of the boat either for the anchor, but also to enjoy another area of this boat. You've got a big sun pad here on the front. You can enjoy it like this, or you can also add a uh, Mediterranean shade that comes on um, carbon fiber poles. You can add a table that's towable, flip up the backrest, same on the other side, and enjoy a drink sunset drink here on the front of the boat. You've got a stainless steel anchor here on the bow. You've got a stainless steel bow protection on the hull. Very easy access here to two very wide compartments. One 
for your line and the anchor and the other one very deep very wide for your fenders you have a remote control for the anchor and of course you have switches at the helm if you want to activate it from the helm those two pop-up lights for your sunset drinks you also have two speakers for the sound system a little window here that gives you extra light for the master cabin down below so the db43 is a day boat but there is actually a lot more than you expect down below oh this is nice the air conditioning here in the cabins so on the db yachts and you probably noticed already outside in the cockpit plenty of luxury detail for style and comfort we've got this very nice stainless steel work we've got leather handrails upgraded appliances Korean countertop storage here under the floor storage under the stairs and finally a very nice woodwork creating a very nice cozy atmosphere two different layouts are available on that boat you can do two cabin with one head if you don't want this uh, kitchen down below because you think you have enough space and cooking uh, appliances outside in the summer kitchen you can also go for another layout which is two cabins and two heads and then instead of this kitchen you have another full head with a separated shower just like the one I'm going to show you now here we are now in the master cabin with the end suite bathroom our Italian designer Camilo Garoni really did amazing work to create a lot of space a lot of volume but also look at this unique styling everywhere. Not only, not only it looks good, but it's also creating storage. We've got these massive windows here on the side, giving plenty of light and visibility. I'm six foot two and I have plenty of headroom still here where I'm standing. I talked about the storage. We've got three storage cabinets on each side and a massive wardrobe here behind that door. At the end of the day on the water, you can lay on the bed, relax, you can watch TV, and you also have a mini bar here down below to grab a drink and enjoy the evening. Full bathroom here, of course, with a separated shower. Look at the attention to details here. The marble-like finish in the shower, the Korean countertop, beautiful sink and very functional. And again, just like we always do at Geno, a lot of uh, light with those massive windows uh, on the side of the boat. This is for us the VIP, but really this cabin also has a lot of advantages. Um, you don't have so much headroom as the other cabin forward, but you have a very wide bed. You are actually in the widest area of the boat, a little bit aft. You have a very nice couch. You also have a 32 inch TV, ample windows on each side, so you have plenty of lights and visibility. I've got the air conditioning here, so it's very cozy. Plenty of storage as well. You have a big uh, wardrobe on the port side and another one on starboard. And again, attention to details, indirect lights, direct lights, reading lights, and look at the styling. You can also get DB Yachts branded bed sheets. So this couch here, can easily convert also into a single bed for a kid, for example. You have a lot of storage here under each seat. See that? Very nice storage here, very nice storage here on the other side. Under each side of the bed, you have massive storage for suitcase, extra bed sheets, any other equipment you want to have in your cabin. All right, thank you for watching. If you want more information about the new Jano DB43 outboard, you can contact your local dealer or go on the Jano website, jano.com, to get some more information. Thank you again for watching and see you on the water.